Hi everyone, this is Sumit here and welcome to my channel Excel with Sumit. In this video, I'll explain you interactive and dynamic chart where you have name of the students and you have marks of five subjects where you have name of the students in the drop down and when you change the name of the student in the drop down, the chart should automatically change. For example, here when I change this to Lina, the mark should automatically change based on what are the five subject marks of Lina. And now if you change the drop down to Chris, it should accordingly change to the respective mark of Chris. I have also explained how to do this using data validation, where you again have a drop down using data validation. And when you change the drop down, you will get the marks automatically updated in the chart. So here I'll explain you two different methods to do the same thing by using a data validation and in the other way, I'll be using the form control within developer tab. So I'll explain this step by step. Let's proceed with the dummy example. Here we just have a table which has name of the students and we have marks of five subjects. So now let's go and enable a drop down. To enable a drop down, we need to have a developer tab in the ribbon bar. So to do that, go to file, go to options. Here you get many options in the Excel options dialog box. So go to customize ribbon. Here you see a checkbox just next to developer tab. So click this checkbox, press OK. You see that you have got a developer tab in the ribbon bar. Now when you click the developer tab, you see here there is an option of insert. So now click this drop down and here you get a different form controls. So we'll select this combo box. Let's click this combo box only once and you will get a plus icon here. So select the area where you want this drop down to be present in Excel. I want this drop down to be present here. So I'll select this area and I'll leave my mouse here. Automatically you see that you have got a static drop down in your Excel file. Now right click this drop down. You see you have got many options. Click here form control. You will get a form control dialog box. Let's move the form control towards the bottom. Now in this input range, you want to select the drop down of the names which you want in this drop down. So let's click this and here I'll select all the names which I want to be present in this drop down. Again, press this button. You also need to select the cell where you want to have this output. So let's select this button and click anywhere here and press enter. Now press enter. Now you see that everything is blank here. So click somewhere outside. Now when you click this drop down, you see that you have all the names in the drop down which is also present in this table. Now you click any name within this drop down, for example, David, you see that automatically a value has been selected here. This value indicates that what is the row number of the value you have selected. For example, here you have selected David and David is present here in the fourth row. So first, second, third, fourth is the David. Similarly, if you select Bob, it will be number two because Bob is the second value here. Now let's move this drop down little bottoms. So to do that, right click this drop down and then again left click and then move it towards the down. Now let's have the value corresponding to this two number. So we'll write index function. You write is equal to index, press tab. Now select name of the students here, which is present in this table, press comma. The row number is this value, which is the output of this drop down. So we'll select this number two. We'll fix this cell because we want to have the static drop down for all the cells. So we'll press F4 once. Now we'll press comma and we'll press one and we'll close the bracket and we'll press enter. We see that we have got the name Bob here, which is selected also in this drop down. Now, if you drag the formula towards the right, you'll see that you have got all the values which are listed here. Now, if you press a drop down and select any other cell, for example, David, you'll see that dynamically you have got the values corresponding to David. Similarly, if you select Lena, you'll get the values corresponding to Lena. Now let's cut and paste this value little bottom. So now I'm cutting this list of cells and pasting it just at the bottom. Just above the output of the student names and the marks, we'll write is equal to and select the headers. So we will link it with the header name. So here we'll select name and press enter. Now we'll drag the formula towards the right. And here we have got the dynamic list of the header as well as the name of the student and the corresponding value. Now, if we change any of the value here, for example, if you select Chris, the marks will be automatically displayed. If you select Rahul, again, the marks will be displayed. Now you have to insert the chart. So you'll select the cells which has the header as well as name of the student and the marks. We'll go to insert and here in the list of the drop down of the charts, we'll select one of the chart. So now you see here, you have got this chart. Now, if we select a drop down of Bob, you see that the chart has been automatically updated. Now, if you select Paul, you see that the value of the chart has been updated. Let's slightly modify this chart. So we'll delete this horizontal axis. We'll select the horizontal bar and we'll delete this also. We'll right click any chart and we'll select add data labels. So now you see here value of the subjects of the respective student. Now again, if you click the drop down and press press, you'll get the value of Chris student. In this way, you can learn interactive or dynamic chart using form controls within developer tab. 
Now let's create this interactive chart in a second way by using data validation. To do that, select a cell where you want the drop down to be placed. Go to data, go to data tools. Here in this drop down, select data validation. You will get a data validation dialog box. Now in the allow drop down, click this drop down, go to list here. Now here you need to enter the set of values which you want to be in the drop down. So select this and select all the names of the student. Again press this and press OK. Here you see that you have automatically got a drop down which will have name Tina, Bob, Chris, David and so on. So now if you select David, you see that the David name will be present here. One of the disadvantage of data validation versus the form controls in developer tab is that when you click somewhere outside of the cell, you see that you will not see the drop down whereas using form controls in developer tab, you will always have this drop down visible in Excel. Now coming back to the data validation. You see that you have got the value of the student based on the drop down. Now if you change the drop down, you will get Bob. Let's create the dynamic values in a similar fashion we created in the previous example. So again, we'll create a header, we'll write is equal to and we'll select the header tab. We'll press enter. Now we'll drag the formula towards the right until the subject E. Now we want to create a drop down based on the student Bob. So again, we will write is equal to and we'll select Bob here. We'll press enter. Now let's create a VLOOKUP formula where we will get the value of all the subjects of the respective student we have selected in the drop down. So here we'll write is equal to VLOOKUP. We'll select the cell Bob. We'll press F4 three times so that Bob remains constant when we move the value towards the right. So F4, F4, F4. We'll press comma. We'll select the entire table for the lookup array. We'll press F4. We'll press comma as we need to select column 2 here. So we'll write a formula called column. So we'll write C O L U M N. We'll press tab. Now as we need the output here 2 which is column B. So we'll write column B1 and we'll press comma. We'll press 0 and we'll close the bracket. We'll press enter again. We see that we have got the value of subject A of student Bob. Now if you drag the formula towards the right, we have got the respective value. If you want to understand more about column function, watch my another video in my channel called Tips and Tricks in VLOOKUP. Now when you change the value of the drop down, you see that the cells here have automatically updated. So again if you change this to Paul, we will get the dynamic value of the student. Now let's again insert a chart. So we will select these cells, go to insert, click recommended charts. Now here, go to all charts and let's select this chart. Press OK. Move this towards the bottom. Let's delete this vertical axis. Delete these horizontal bars. Add the data labels for each of this. And whenever you select a drop down here, you see that the value is automatically getting updated. In this way, you can create two interactive or dynamic chart in Excel by just following simple steps.